another celebration with Falling Brook Heights Baptist Church at the Center. We encourage you to prepare your heart, mind, and soul for a time of reflection, learning, and prayer. If you have any questions, or if you're just looking to chat, check out our website, churchatthecenter.com. And now, let's worship. year we decided to imagine with majesty and think about the journey of the fascinating eastern strangers to the advent of Jesus Christ. We hope you enjoy all six of our We Three Creative Reflections from Clementarian, the Ancient Librarian. Ashalem. Peace be with you. I have come from a place you've never been to, to share a story that you've never heard and give you wisdom that you should never forget. And I bear three gifts, beauty, love, everlasting life. My name is Clementarian and I'm the librarian at the Library of Persepolis. 
in the fortress of Shartak, in the plains of Mardash and the Zagros mountains. My heritage is ancient. I can trace it back to the time of the Western exile of the Jewish people to my country, my country of origin. I trace my heritage through Melchior, one of the great three who studied the writings of Daniel. My role is to keep the story. And now I've been directed to reveal it to this generation. Let me tell the story as they did in the first person writings of Balthazar. From Balthazar the humble to all may who may hear, we worship you, God of immense glory, rule, revealer of the mystery now known to us through the Great One. We three, called kings, magi, wise men, astrologers, are priests from Persia, Persia who studied the stars. We studied ancient prophecies of the exiled Hebrews. Our forefathers studied with a great one, son of Israel, wise man and visionary prophet Daniel, who predicted the coming. We three, with our caravan crossing through many lands until we reached the Jordan River. It was then when we thanked the Almighty Lord for guiding us by His star, protecting us as we traveled, and bringing us safely to the land of the greatest of kings, as we brought Him tribute, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. As directed by merchants, we took the road to Jerusalem to meet with King Herod, a vassal of Caesar Augustus, anticipating that both would be there to celebrate the arrival of the Great One, Along the way, up past the temple of Yahweh, to Herod's palace, we rode as so many looked on in fear and uncertainty of our arrival. Indeed, we learned that Herod, the people, and priests of Jerusalem were unaccustomed to our dress, a display of homage to a great event from the wealth of Persia. They assumed we ourselves were kings. Envoys, perhaps to bring a message of domination. King Herod summoned us to speak before him, inquiring of our intent. Kaspar, more familiar with Hebrew, in great respect and honor, asked, Where is the one who was born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. We were baffled by the king's response of ignorance. He was indeed the only king of kings he knew, king of Jews. Yet with priests in his court, he paused, asking us many questions about the star. When we had seen the star, where we had come from, our travel, our origin, and he summoned the priests, and they repeated, the prophet Micha. What we had learned before we left on the journey, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. So was the prophecy through Micah from Yahweh. Amidst their speaking, we all discerned the very word Mashiach. Mashiach, the promised one of Yahweh, he had been born. With an abrupt change of air, Herod dismissed his court, and we three, alone with him, his face turned sullen and dark. His words of respect and honor turned. He simply said, Go, Search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me that I too may go and worship him. We three all felt unwelcome, but dismissed from Herod in respect of the laws of the land, we graciously gave our consent and left his court. It was the first time that I, Balthazar, felt unease. 
our arrival was not as we had expected. There was no jubilant worship of the Great One. Nothing in Jerusalem was attuned to this monumental event. We should have known that no one was watching the star overhead. Melchior wonder if we'd been misguided. Yet we had studied the writings of Daniel, of Micha, of David, of Solomon, even of the great Moshi. The laws he received from Yahweh. But something was not right in this land. And for the first time on our journey, we had doubt, we had fear, and we had a dread that was difficult to bear. Kaspar asked if we should take the long journey and return to the writings. We decided to pray and seek the maker of the stars. After our prayers, we all concluded we needed to go to Bethlehem, as the prophecy has said. These are the words of Belshazzar the humble to all who will hear. My name is Clementarian. I maintain the ancient library of Persephilus, the fortress of Shardak in the plains of Mardash and the Zagros Mountains. I bear three gifts, beauty, love, and everlasting life. I will return to proclaim again the rest of the story of we three. Ashalam. Peace to you. We hope you've enjoyed this reflection. For more information about our inspirational celebrations, go to churchatthecenter.com. Tune in again as Clementarian tells the next part of the journey. May you be inspired with hope, joy, and peace.
For more information, visit our website, churchatthecenter.com. God bless.